We are already in our last few topics about um, Java syntax and grammar. We need to discuss, of course, with variable. Variable is an item of data used to store the state of objects. So basically, it is our temporary storage of a value. So normally, for the variable, it contains data type and name. So again, uh, we already talked about data type earlier. The data type indicates the type of value that the variable can hold. If we will talk about the variable name, it follows rules for identifiers. Okay? So for declaration and also in the initialization of a variable, this is the syntax. So we have um, data type, for example, integer or int then the name of your um, variable or your literal. For initialization part, we have data type, then the name or the variable name or the literal, then your initial value. So for example, you are assigning um, this one is, for example, um, you, are, uh, uh, you are actually um, assuming that the user the user's age is 10, right? That's value 10. Then you have the age as the literal or the variable name. Then the data type here, of course, it should be int, right? Because it will only accept integer value. Okay, we also have another value here. For example, int your age, then 19. If we will make that one bigger, this is the data type. This is your age is the identifier or the variable name. You also have the value. And don't forget as well the semicolon. Okay? Let's proceed. It, we also need to discuss about the guidelines and declaring and initializing a variable. First, always initialize your variables as you declare them. Just like what I mentioned earlier uh, in our previous subject, uh, we need to understand the problem. After understanding the problem, that's the time we need to count how many variables we need to create. Right? Next one. Use description names for your variables. For example, um, the purpose of this variable is to get input from the user. So, you can just put a variable name or a literal name um, input or age because it will accept age from the user. Like that one. Next one. Declare one variable per line of code. Um, actually, you can declare variable per, uh, uh, per line or one variable per line of code. But for, um, for um, organization of your codes, it's also good if you will, for example, int here, uh, int, then we will put here age, for example, x, comma, y, then semicolon. You can actually use like this one. Okay, this is a good example of a Java variable. We have var sample. This is our class name. Then of course our main, uh, main, um, our main or our dashboard. Then don't forget that we use data type boolean, which has a uh, literal name um, result. We also have car as the option. The option it's C capital letter C. Then double it's grade it's zero point zero. And don't forget to include as well the um, double closing curly braces. Okay, how can we display a variable? Just like what I um, shared earlier, in displaying a variable or in displaying something in your program, you need to use system.out.print or the SOP with also the system.out.println or the SOPL. Okay, so I have an example here below like this one. So if we will understand this example, 
we have a var output class name. We have the main as well. Uh, we have a value 10 to our value literal that uses some integer um, data type. We have car x, which the x has a capital letter A as the character. Then after that, um, system that out the print ln we need to print the value. After printing the value, this time here in the SOPL, the variable uh, the value of x, which should be a, should be displayed. Okay, let me show you a good example in that one moment. So we keep on using this one, but for now I just need to remove that. And let me try to use the one that we discussed earlier. For example, int value equals 10, then semicolon. Let me make this one, okay. Then character, or we can just put string if you want, so that we can display our name, right? So for example, name is Sir Nan. Like this one. Then put the um, semicolon. After that one, we can just put system that out dot print. Okay, we can just put here the for example, this is the value. Sorry. Then semicolon. After that, we can just put system that out that print ln again. Oh, why did they not use one moment? Need to use print ln here, and here inside that one, we can just put the value of name is. Then don't forget the plus sign because that's actually um, the concatenate. Uh, it will concatenate or it just actually call the value of your variable name value, and don't forget the semicolon. Let's try to run it. So in running it here, or you can just go and control shift 10, F10, control shift F10. Okay, still building. Let's wait for it. Oh, what happened? Oh, okay, for the string, I understand. Mm -hmm. We need to use a library. One moment. But for now, I can just, uh, since we did not discuss yet the library, I can just put here x, then I'll put here, since this is only a character, uh, one single quote, then I can just put x here, like that one. Then, after that, um, I can just put the x here na lang, there. Let's try running it. Let's see if it will work. There we go. So basically, if you can see um, the, um, the output, it shows x here because you called x. And also the value of 10, uh, sorry, the value of name. Sorry, this is not name. Uh, it should be the value of um, the value of value is one moment the value of x na lang is x you can just put here value like that one let's run it again okay let's wait there so it displayed the number 10 after that the value of x is x, this one, right? Okay, so let's proceed. So system that out the print does not append new line at the end of the data output. So basically, um, it will not append. So meaning it's not print ln, right? A good example for this one is this. And it will continue, like this one. 
How about the print ln? Uh, print ln appends a new line at the end of the data output. So example, like this, the output should be hello, then enter world. Like this one, right? And we need to discuss about the types of variables. So we have primitive variables and also the reference variables. Uh, when we say primitive variables, variables with primitive data types or that uses primitive data types, it stores data in an actual memory allocation or memory location where the variable is. Also, um, if we talk about reference variables, variables that stores the address in the memory location points to another uh, memory location where the actual data is. Don't worry, we will discuss more about this one in our next topic, um, the reference variables. But for now, we will be using, uh, most, most of the time, we'll be using the primitive variables. And our last topic is constants. Why I'm actually um, discussing this? Because there are some um, values or there are some variables that you can just use constants because for example for pi that contains or that has a value 3.1416 you can make that one constant so that it will not or it can't be changed right because the value never changes and we need to use a final type of modifier in the class definition for example public class uh, our class name is variables, public static void main, and don't forget to put the final as our constant so that you cannot edit or the value for the pi can't be changed, right? 